Hello there ladies and gentlemen, I'm David Game and I'm here now with Forza Motorsport 6 or Forza 6 or you know I know the proper way to pronounce it is Forza but you know I'm gonna go with Forza because it's easier for me and hopefully the people at Turn 10 can forgive me. Now we're gonna have a good look at this introductory race for the time being. Let's give it a go. I've picked my car out. Start race. Now, this game comes out a little while. I have to check that up a little bit later on, ladies and gentlemen. Bees news. See a bunch of driver tars. There's my dad. Mr. Voigt is doing about. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it should be noted that I am not particularly good at racing games. I don't want to say I'm terrible. That was a terrible move. But so I turned off the braking assists and all that so I can pull some dodgy maneuvers. Oh, oh that was brutal. See, this is not going smoothly. It's better. See the braking assists on I was just getting constantly matched up. Like constantly held back. And now free. Free on the road. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be doing coverage at my games lounge for Forza 6. I'm saying Forza now because I know you enthusiasts get mad when people say Forza. But for those of you that don't know it's pronounced Forza. Forza 6 is a, uh, yeah, Martin, good old Martin was right. I'm trying to, I'm not used to this whole talking and <laughs> driving at the same time. Is this like, kind of like drinking and driving? Oh, I'm in first place. All right, cool. It sh again, it should be noted that this is not on a high difficulty setting by any means. I'm just getting used to the game. You're going back. I'm rewinding. I have the power over time. Of Persia in a car. Ha! Did I not go back far enough? Really? <laughs> it's a little, little bit better because my braking is not on point. See the guidelines. The little Honda that could. The Honda S2000, ladies and gentlemen. Of choice and decided to make it as shiny as all hell. I wanted to reflect the failure in the other people's faces. Because that's how I roll. And then you'll say, oh David, why don't you want more of a challenge? Why don't you want the difficulty? To that I say, I don't want more of a challenge. I want to dominate. And that is my goal. And ladies and gentlemen, if you do keep up with the series, um, I did the review of the one well, on the offshoots, you know, they got a sub-series. I want to call it a sub-series, like it's not less than this game, it's just uh, more my type of driving game, the less focused uh, track-based one, uh, Horizon and Horizon 2. I did the review for Horizon 2, I think I did Horizon back in the day as well, entirely sure. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed Horizon 2, I like the open world setting, but there is something to be said for the track based, like, you know, you're going in and you're going to race, you know, there's no faffing about, there's no looking for open world objectives or anything like that, it's, it's all about the skill, the skill on easy mode, <laughs> proper skills in it. Now, I'm trying to be careful of what I can and can't say. You're pretty much experiencing this with me now. I did like one, one race that was terrible. I had my all my to do, really held me back. Uh, so I re, well, they made me redo the race. But the game basically said, yeah, you didn't place high enough to go anywhere near where we want you to go. So um, yeah, you're gonna need to do this again. But as you can see, comfortable lead. No, too comfortable actually. But, boom, oh. 
that's how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we do it on Easy Street. <laughs> oh dear. That's better though. More credits. More XP for the driver level. Each time you increase your driver level, you'll win a prize spin. Yay, prize spin. You've earned your first prize spin. I get that. You could win a credits windfall, mod packs, or even a brand new car. Even a brand new car. Proper game show, isn't it? Right, let's do this. Press A to stop the spin and see what you win. You know I'm not getting that Bugatti Veyron. You know it's not going to happen. But let's, let's just hope. I stopped on the Veyron. You won a new car. Mate, that game's done. It's over. <laughs> I'm genuinely shocked. There's, I mean, I know it's not real, <laughs> but I just, I got, a, I got a bouquet of Aaron. Now, if that happens to everybody, nice work passing your first qualifying race. Sorry, you know, I keep going in between what the, the fine young lady is saying and what I'm trying to commentate on. Um, yeah, so I just, I won the Bugatti Veyron. Now, if, again, if that happens for everybody, I'm going to be severely hurt. Deeply, truly wounded. And if not, well, good times. Alright, so, you've just seen one race of Forza Motorsport 6. I'll just give you a little bit of a taste of the game at the moment. Uh, I'm going to be doing a couple more videos over the weekend, so please feel free to tune in. And now, as you can see, my handsome face <laughs> is now on camera. I've sorted out a lot of the things I needed to do for Let's Plays, and now I want to start doing a bit of streaming, a bit of, bit of involving myself in the video content. Anyway, you've been watching Forza, Forza, Motorsport 6. I've been David Gain. Catch this at mygameslounge.com and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, to morrow. If you're watching this today. To give you dates, my phone is not on that page at the moment, so I won't be doing that. But if you're watching this today, there'll be more videos over the weekend. So thank you for watching. I'm going to get pretty much stuck into this. Um, there's, uh, again, with these early releases, uh, you got to be careful with... you got to treat it with respect. you got to respect the wishes of the publisher and whatnot. So uh, what I can show you, obviously... Is until the point where I can show you more. Anyway, I'll be doing this for review for My Games Lounge, and thank you for joining me. Bizzle!